Hi there learners and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be talking about the calculation around BMI or body mass index. Now what is your body mass index? This is basically um, a formula that's been formulated to work out well according to your height uh, what you should actually be weighing you know um, and this is how they determine whether someone is you know underweight overweight obese you know anything like that so the formula for BMI reads as follows it is BMI equals M over H2 or H squared so M would represent the current mass of the person so this would represent the kilograms of the person and H would represent the height So if we have someone who is 60 kilograms in weight and has a height of 1.65 meters, according to BMI, what would they actually be? So let's use our formula. It would be 60 over 1.65 and we would square that. So that would be 60 over 2,72 and that would then give me a score of 22. So what does that now actually mean? Well, according to the body mass index, if you are, if you score over 18.5, then you are underweight. If you score between 18 and 25, you are what they consider normal. <laughs> okay normal weight anything above 25 is considered overweight and over 30 is obese okay so you can see for this individual who is 60 kilograms in weight is 1.65 meters tall he's scoring 22 which is within the normal range what about the fact that um, if we have the BMI let's say we've got uh, old bull and bull has a BMI of 21.5 Okay, so we already know Bill is within the normal range. They also tell us uh, that Bill is 1.64 meters tall. Okay, remember our formula? We've now got the BMI. We have the height, but we don't have the weight. So usually if we have these two over here, you know, your kilograms, your weight and your height, we just divide the two, you know, work that out and we'll get our BMI. So how do we do this the other way? Okay, so the, one of the first things I'm going to do is just put the M in here. One of the first things I'm going to do is just work out the H squared properly. So it'd be 21.5 and that would be equal to M over and it's 2.69. Okay, so I have that in place. I just need now uh, one more calculation in order to work out the weight. If you'll remember in previous videos, when we wanted to move something out of the way, when we, if we want to take this height and we want to move it over to the other side, what did we have to do? We had to multiply because it's dividing. We had to multiply by 2.69. That'll cancel that out. But then we've got to multiply this side by 2.69 as well. And in that case, we'll then end up with 57.83. Sorry, if I round it off, 0.84 is what his weight will be. If I needed to work this out again and just, you know, make sure that my answer is correct, I'm going to take this 57.84, put it in over there. I'm going to divide that by my height squared and that should give me my BMI. And this is how, you know, you can go through this, um, get your answer and also work backwards to make sure that your answer in, um, you know, getting the BMI is correct.